so, <clears throat> so I, I do a tremendous amount of regenerative medicine, and we've spent a lot of time discussing the different regenerative medicine options. And Dr. Schuler just talked about how regenerative medicine is going to change the way we approach spinal health care as well as the way we approach orthopedic health care. Um, the, the, what we've seen over the last several years is a, a complete revolution of regenerative medicine and the, the different types of treatments we can actually do. With the, initially, it was just a, a, a way of, of stimulating growth and, re, and re-stimulating the healing process. Now we're able to actually put in place and deploy cells that can actually potentially regenerate into healthy tissue. And I, I see this as a completely, I see this as, as, as a treatment that's in its, it's very naive and very young, but what we have in the next five years will be completely different than what we have now. So a lot of what we've talked about today, both from a surgical and non-surgical treatment, is really getting the best results for patients with the least amount of pain getting to that point. So what really excites me and gets me you know, very, what I'm very passionate about is minimally invasive spine surgery. So that's a very broad term, and essentially all that means is getting the same, if not better, surgical results than we used to, but by doing it, by cutting less muscle, getting fast recovery, and having an overall easier surgical uh, recovery. So there are many types of minimally invasive spine surgery, from scoliosis corrections to what I like to coin as ultra minimally invasive spine surgery, and that's with an endoscopic spine surgery. So currently, we're using an endoscope, which is a tiny little camera, much like people getting knee scopes or shoulder scopes, you can actually get a spine scope as well. And by doing that, you can oftentimes remove herniated discs, taking care of the pressure, and really cause almost no pain. It's very, very gratifying when I do these surgeries on patients, and they see me back right after surgery and say, you know, I don't even know where you put your skin incision because it's so small. I have no pain in my leg anymore and no back pain. So that's one of the major advancements that really gets me excited and I think is a tremendous uh, ability to continue to grow as time goes on. You know, one area that I'm really excited about is really how do we correct patients' spine and their spinal balance in a way that they can lead a better life. They can walk to their car, they can walk their dog, uh, they can go to school. Uh, this is an area where it's been very challenging for us in order to really do the least minimally invasive procedure without harming the patient and by, by, by allowing them to get back to their lives faster. You know, scoliosis is an example where there's an S-shaped, S-shaped curve but it's more than that, it's patients leaning forward and putting a lot of strain on their backs. So Dr. Good is, is a leading expert on this as well. And what we're trying to do is figure out how do we do this with a more minimally invasive fashion? How do we do it with better technology? And how do we align patients' expectations so that they do better, they do have better outcomes like Dr. Glassman talked about. And by empowering patients with that knowledge beforehand, I think we can get better results and we're, we're seeing that. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I, I think to me and the whole uh, purpose of the spine talks is really um, education. Uh, you know, whether we're talking, uh, whatever type of treatment someone needs, uh, I always tell people, uh, you know, the most common mistake that I see patients and doctors make is choosing or recommending uh, the treatment that you wish you could have or what you want to go through rather than actually what you need. Uh, and it's really important to understand what is the structural problem, what's causing the pain, and, and then you have to pick the treatment that lines up with that. And so, uh, for example, an endoscopic uh, discectomy, a very minimally invasive procedure, is perfect for some patients, but it's actually not the right treatment for other problems. And, and getting doctors and patients educated and helping us to make the right kind of decision, because if, if somebody is gonna have an injection, put their time through a lot of therapy, have a surgery, you want to make sure not only that it's the smallest or the simplest, but the one that has the highest chance of working and lasting for them. And so that's, that's really the motivation of us, of, of us being here and the future of Spine Talks is to really give patients uh, a tremendous amount of information to understand their condition and why one treatment makes sense and maybe another doesn't. And we all know too many people who have had some treatment and then it didn't work or it didn't last for them and then another treatment. And, and one of my passions is really trying to help uh, people to make the best choices uh, to 
get the result that they want and, and have it last as long as possible.